Are you trying to decide if South Carolina or Georgia has the best quality of life, the lowest taxes, the most attractive amenities, or maybe even the cost of living index? Well, let us help you. And we're going to start on the South Carolina side of the Savannah River. Now, Aiken County, based on a 2023 population, about 171,000, you know, give or take here. Now, Aiken County, it's a very, very large county, 1,081 square miles. On this side of the river in Augusta, Georgia, specifically Richmond County, the population is over 208,000 in 2023. This county is approximately 329 square miles, which is significantly smaller than Aiken County, but higher in population. Now, these are the two largest counties in the CSRA, which is the Central Savannah River area, which we'll explain in another video so you have an understanding of that. Now, this is the perfect time to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell to keep up with our future videos and learn about what CSRA means. Now back over here in Georgia, Columbia County is estimated population in 2023 is over 165,000. Its size is 308 square miles and it's becoming one of the fastest growing counties in Georgia. Interesting, if you combine both those two counties and as far as size, they're smaller than Aiken County by a lot, but more than double the population. So that kind of shows you the difference of right there between the two areas or those counties. We went to Wallet Hub online and they have an article that was just done in March, 2023. So that's our reference point. That is 2023 tax burden by state. So it's very interesting and very interactive. Georgia is actually slightly higher. It is 7.46% and South Carolina is 7.44%. Wow, that's really extremely close, isn't it? So let's take a deeper dive because you could go and look, how does personal property tax as far as like in real estate? So let's compare those two and see what the Wallet Hub shows there. By the way, to determine this information, Wallet Hub compared 50 states across the three types of tax state burdens. One, property taxes. Two, individual income taxes. Three, sales and excise taxes. Now let's get back to real estate taxes here and compare the states. And we're talking about a personal home when we're doing the comparison here. So back to Wallet Hub, 2023 property taxes by state, Georgia was actually the 25th out of 51 states. And South Carolina was fifth. So on real estate taxes for your home, there is a significant difference to consider. Remember, taxes are personal and unique to individuals or a family. So consult that CPA to see which state is actually best for you. Look forward to the upcoming video of the battles of the lifestyle. You're not gonna wanna miss this one about South Carolina. We have Georgia. more, South Carolina has more fun. Who said that? I did. Uh, anyways, to stay up to date with all of our current and future videos, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's your home, your lifestyle, and we, we are your real estate, estate team. team. And Georgia has more fun. <laughs> <laughs>